going to invite uh, Marvosa and, Je- and uh, Jessica. Sorry, just draw a blank. A little bit tired up here. Why did you come up, Marvosa and Jessica? And um, why don't I bring the family as well? Esther and Ephraim, just coming up. You guys can be seated. We're going to just pray for them. We want to pray for them. Many of you um, helped us. Well, you're going to come up here. Many, uh, Many of you know their situation and uh, are, are you going to be the one do you want me to okay and, and that's what I was hoping to say many of you know their situation and uh, yeah because you know they're over there and um, you know they essentially I, I um, had emailed everyone on the prayer registration uh, mail list. Marvosa, what was the date? Marvosa had a deportation order issued for uh, the 22nd, which is tomorrow. And uh, it's it had been how many years? Uh, not since the deportation order. This was the final leg of an 11 year journey almost 12 years journey of appealing and appealing and appealing being denied and being denied of immigration in Canada refugee humanitarian and you name it and they did everything that they could and finally in December I believe he came to me and said pastor this is what they've the order has been given. I have to leave the country. I have to leave the country. And we tried everything at that point. We tried to... Um, oh, we have a beautiful picture up there. And we have Ephraim. You, did you see your picture up there? This is Ephraim and Esther and Jessica, right? <laughs> and Parpasa. So um, we prayed with the family and... It seemed impossible because once you have a deportation order issued, for those of you who have been on that side or you have family on that side or you work within the government and the, or in particular the legal, you know the situation or even pastoring and you know once a deportation order has been issued, you go underground to many people and you hide out or you just leave the country. It's over. It's over. It's impossible. And so we contacted the MP. We tried to get intervention in the ways of man. We did that, right? We prayed. We did what we could. We even brought in a new lawyer. And all these things, just trying and trying. And then we came into the 21 days. And I don't know which Sunday was a prophecy given about immigration papers. Was it the first Sunday of the year or the second Sunday? It was the second Sunday. So the second Sunday, I was impressed upon my heart. And, you know, it's... I, this, I've never given an immigration prophecy before, just so you know. So it's not like I go around giving that. But I said, and I, there's several people in our church who are, who are going through this issue right now. So I said, somebody this month is going to be getting their immigration permission, papers, rights to stay in the country, whatever you want to call it. And so they jumped on that. Remember, there's a removal order. It's too late for them. There's no more appeal. There's nothing that they can do. And so, at this point, now you might this you might have to jump in to help me fill in the blanks. Um, so now we have the order has been given. Why don't you tell us? And the date is the twenty second. 
why didn't you tell us some of the things you had to do to prepare to leave the country and, and so forth, like your ticket and everything? Praise God. I'm so excited today to see my lovely family. You guys are my families. I thank God I'm still here today. The removal date is tomorrow. And uh, today was a uh, uh, stay motion going on and I was invited by the CBSA to come in for the funeral. I don't know what they call me for but in person uh, interview. I went down there. So you were invited today. today to, so the, the day before his removal, they called him and they said they want him to come for an in, in person uh, interview. Did they turn pretty and give me all the all the So they had to. He had to do a PCR because when you're flying, you need to take a PCR. So he's not understanding what's happening because you have to. They're saying bring in your PCR test, bring in your ticket. So he's had. Set it up by himself. He's he's had to do all these things. He has a plane ticket. He has a PCR, and then now he's seen, seen them the day before. Sean and all. So, it's okay. If you don't hear anything, you're not let it down. If anything changed, let me know. And this is the uh, CBSA the officer, officer, right? So, uh, so the CBSA officer is uh, works for Canadian Border Border Services, and so he's like the last stopping point before like he's basically they want to make sure that he gets on the plane he makes sure he has his plane ticket he makes sure he's tied up the loose ends and he's ready to, and he gets him out of the country and so but this guy now begins to play nice and he's he says hey if you need anything you know your stuff is still in order you still have to go but if you need anything just let me know right so he said to me that my finger crossed for you guys So now he's wishing you well. Yes. So he's yeah. he's now wishing him well. It's not first of all like a good sign. Yeah. He's like, hey brother, I'm wishing you luck. And there's something different about you, right? Like they don't normally wish you luck and wish you well. Are you following me? Because at this point you've run afoul of their rules and like they've had to deport you. Like that's not a good thing. Or no, not deported, but they've asked you to leave by a date before they have to forcibly remove you. Yeah, uh, after I can pick up my son from the school. So 3 p.m. today, you pick up your son from school. Call just came in. He was still in office. And you received a call from the officer. Yeah. The removal is canceled. I, I know we were all waiting Ooh, yeah. to hear that. Okay, praise God. <laughs> I don't have to come to the airport tomorrow. The removal is canceled. Woo! I don't have to come to hey, the hey. airport tomorrow. Hey, we're going to get a little Let something up there. Woo! The removal is so Some happy. people are dancing over here. Wow. Man, it's electric in here. <laughs> it's a Go oh, and cancel the tickets. Straight oh, up. Yeah. I went to the York Gate uh, travel. He's, he's got a letter. He said, he's, this is a refund. You see the refund? It's here he has a I refund. He, he was asked to cancel his ticket. They asked him. So, and so he's refunded his money now. Excited. Come 
okay, guys. This is... When the Raptors won, I was running around the room. And, 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 and this is more important than the Raptors winning. Because our brother has been spared from... Ex, been extricated from his family. He's safe right now. Woo! Hey! Wow! This battle has been on for over seven years for over seven years now. They gave me the documents, I was okay, and I traveled out of the out of the country. Okay, I came in, everything was ready for me. As I was getting ready for my son. Less than a month. A letter just came. Application of the document. The battle just started. So I pray. Lawyer to your lawyer. Yeah. Pay. This is not, yeah. Dream. Dream. No, man. So, so essentially, in the last 12 years, there's been glimpses of hope, and it kept getting snatched away from him. And then it came to the end where you have to go. So it's like the, the devil. And that's why tonight there's also a deliverance aspect to tonight, because some of your problems are not natural. And it didn't make sense because, I mean, he even had a, a, a celebration a few years ago because he had been accepted in the country, right? And he had a party. And, and then they wrote him back later saying there's a technicality in your application. It's canceled. You were, you know, you're back to the drawing board. So all these things. But And my point is that the, the deliverance aspect of tonight is some of your situations, whether it be patterns in your life, um, you're stuck. You keep going around in cycles. You don't know why. You know, it could be a generational thing. Your children are doing the same thing that you did. And some of these things, and even in my life as well, I've had to evaluate. There are certain patterns that you need deliverance from. And, and, and God has to break it. And so we're, we're not just praying for healing, for physical. We're praying for any demonic hindrances to your freedom. And when you keep saying, Lord, why again is it me? Why me? Why me? It could be there's a spirit there. And you need to ask, Lord, and then pray for deliverance. Is there anything else that uh, you want to say? Maybe Jessica or, or Marvosa? The Lord. The Lord is good. Amen. Uh, we really want to appreciate each and every one of you here. Indeed, we have a family here. Thank you Amen. all for all your concerns. I we never knew that uh, the church loved us so much to that extent. So this really tells us we are one in Christ. We say thank you. Every spirit of getting it and losing it will come against you tonight. Amen. That's a, I love that name, spirit of getting it and losing it. You know, I don't need to know what the name of the spirit is, but it but thing, that's a good name. One thing I want <laughs> want us to see. All I see, I always tell my husband, is going to end in two. And today he has really ended in two. And we thank God for that. We thank you all for your love and your concern. We continue to really tell you how everything will change. It's a long story. Financially, emotionally, physically, he has really killed us. But there is one thing the devil cannot take from you all. Mm. That is your voice. Your what? Your voice. Woo! Speak to the mountain. I love it. I love it. Your voice. As they keep on persisting that they are going to take you out of the world, whatever the be their plan. But let your voice be heard in heaven. Just as Pastor always say that the Bible says, even if our faith is like as small as that mustard seed, it can move mountains. What are you saying to your situation? We are living testimony. I'm very happy today that we are here. Before I gave birth to Ephraim, we were 21 days fasting. And when I was Full pregnant, circle. I never knew I was pregnant. We were 21 days fasting. And this is what God did. 
And today we are in 21 days fasting. And we also kill him. Another miracle. Your miracle is for sure. Amen. Jesus, Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. Amen. Thank you, Lord. We are grateful. Amen. We are grateful. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Wow. Thank you. I thought you were going to say that you were Thank pregnant you, again <laughs> on the 21 days. But, you know, that word is probably for someone, okay? Um, but, but you're saying if you're pregnant for a miracle, why not this 21 days? And, 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 and that's, 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 that's a thing for me. And that's, that's one of my things is why not now, Lord? Why not now? Because if heaven is for real and, and you said we are blessed with every spiritual blessings in heaven, why do we have to wait? Why can there not be shalom today? Why there, there just there have to be injustice? Why do we have to um, suffer long? Why can't we see peace in our land, righteousness reign? Why not now? And so sometimes when we pray with violence and aggressiveness, it's not because, you know, we just necessarily love to be that way. It's just like we're just so, like, frustrated that, Lord, we want this thing to happen right now. And there's an enemy called Satan who's hindering. And I'm so tired of the battle. And I want it now. I want it today because I know that you're able and so, friends, this has been such a powerful uh, sermon. You know, I had some, you know, they called me at 5.30. I was in, uh, in my zone, usually two hours before I preach. I'm in, I'm in a zone, and I don't pick up my phone. I don't even look at my phone. But I got the call at 5.30 today, and, um, and so I grabbed my phone, and it said Marvosa. Well, I know that Marvosa is either calling me to say he's, he's been by at the airport or he's calling me for a miracle. So I picked up the phone. I was glad that I did because here we are. Here we are. Let's just stretch forth our hands and release a blessing upon them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That God will continue to finish everything off not until he has his PR card in his hand you know we know that now that it's been stayed it's only a ma matter of time but we just don't want any other spirit of you know not getting your papers to come back so Lord we speak blessing over this family in the name of Jesus we declare that he who began a good work in us will be faithful to complete it God, we thank you that nothing is impossible. You said, even through your servant Mary, Lord, with God, nothing shall be, the angel to Mary, with God, nothing shall be impossible. And again, Jesus said the same thing, with God, nothing shall be impossible. And so we say that, Lord, the impossibility has been made possible, that you would finish everything that you started that you'd watch over Ephraim and Esther and watch over Jessica and Marvosa and that you would, Lord, complete them, complete them, complete them, complete them so that they can also complete others and that with this testimony, they can be a blessing to many. So we just thank you for your grace and your touch upon their life, even as they go now. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.